All right, welcome to another tutorial in SolidWorks. Today we're going to be talking about importing images and using that image then to trace sketches on and then extrude those sketches. So I'm making this like bottle rocket thing where I need to be able to thread onto a soda bottle. So I need to design the soda bottle first. So what I did was I found a good image of a soda bottle. This is from dollargeneral.com. And I'm going to import that into SolidWorks and basically trace it and then revolve that trace to create the water bottle, soda bottle. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to start a sketch. So we're going to click on sketch here and we can click any of these items and it's going to ask us, oh, I've already picked a sketch. So let's start over real quick. We're just going to do a new part and we're going to pick a sketch and we're going to just pick the front plane. And now I'm in my sketch tool. I'm going to hit escape and then go up here to tools sketch tools and go down to sketch picture what this will do it will allow you to open up pictures um, there's all kinds of different file formats you can use and you're going to open up the image you want to trace so i'm going to take this coca-cola bottle and hit the little check mark go normal to to view it so now this image is placed onto that sketch plane so i'm still in sketch mode right now i can come in here and just start using my sketch tools to trace this um, the issue right now is it's not to scale. So it brought it in at, you know, just this random scale. But I want to basically take a dimension and scale it to the proper size. So I know that from this guy here to this guy here, it's saying it's 130 millimeters. I know that that dimension should be. 33 millimeters. So what I will do is I will just do a calculation and I'm going to do 30 millimeters divided by 129.92 and it's 0.23 times scale. So if I double click on it again, I can scale this up. And it's a little math here you're going to have to do. So I need to go and scale this dimension by that. So I just multiply it times 453 and you get 104 this would be pretty close I mean it's not going to be down to the exact um, you know micron but it's going to be fairly close so I'm going to type that in there hit the checkbox and delete this out so now I'm to scale right now basically and when I trace this which I'll do fairly quickly um, I need to pick the center. So for the center, I'm just going to take these two lines, make this a sketch or a construction, and then pick the center of this. And this should give me close to the center of the bottle. I'm not going to do these little uh, little items here. I'm basically just going to trace around it. I'm not going to go crazy with the curves. I'm basically going to make a really raw shaped bottle. I can zoom in to get some more accuracy too. So you can see how this works. Um, fairly easy. You can trace a lot of things. It gives you um, the ability to take a photo of an object and then quickly, you know, copy it or um, come home and reverse engineer it. And I'm gonna assume the cap ends like right around there. Oh. Sorry, I need to stop right here. So what I'll do is I'll bring this line up, make it square, trim it right there, make this construction. And it really, I could get the dimension from here to here from this specification. So if I came back, it's telling me that it's 21 millimeters from, it looks like the bottom of this lip. So I'm gonna make this straight bring it up and then go from the bottom of this up to the top of this and just define it as 21 millimeters that's probably totally wrong um ch -ch 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 so this should be i think my scale's off a little bit i probably shouldn't use this but i can fix that later by scaling the final object which we'll do uh, i'll show you how to do that quick too so there is my uh, sketch of the bottle. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to revolve it. It's going to say it's an open sketch because I made a construction line there. I'm going to hit yes to close it. And it's going to ask me what the axis of revolution is. I'm going to pick that and just hit the little checkbox. So there's basically my bottle. You know, it's not the most beautiful looking bottle. I can come in here and, you know, give myself some curves like a real Coke bottle has. Um, spice it up a bit. But you get the idea. Um, so that is how you take a photo and trace over it. So really quick, let's fix the issue with the scaling. So if I click on this guy, it says 22.59. And I come up here, I'm going to do this. It should be 25.07. So I can do 22.59 divided by 25.07. Oh, yep, not multiplied. Let me do that again. Um, 22.59. Actually, I need to scale it up because it's too small. So I'm going to take 25.07. Divided by 22.59. I need to scale it by 1.109. So I will go to my. Do, 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 do. It's going to be up here in tools. Uh, nope. Features. Scale. And I'll just choose this object and I want to scale it by the scale factor. 1.109, 1.109, uniform scaling, and you can choose where you want to scale it from. Uh, if it's just an object out in space by itself, you can do the centroid. It shouldn't be an issue. And there's your soda bottle with 25.05, and this is 25.07. I'm happy with that. I could have gone out to these crazy decimal places and got it dead on, but this is sufficient with me. You also have the scale over here. So if you want to right click and edit feature, you can come in here and get the higher resolution if you need it to be exactly precise. So that is the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Goodbye.